I'm Cynthia Gonzalez, and I'm a Product Marketing Manager at Axamine. In this video, I'm going to bring you up to speed on an important cybersecurity tool, SIM. But before I do, remember to share the love and subscribe to our channel. SIM stands for Security Information and Event Management, and it's pronounced SIM. It's a system that collects log files, security alerts, and events into one place, so security teams can more easily analyze data. You can think of a SIM as a log management system, specialized for security. SIMs collect all of this information from other security systems, like endpoint security, firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and the like. They were necessitated with the growth in the number of security systems. The logs and alerts from these systems needed to be stored centrally so that analysts didn't have to go to each individual security product to conduct investigations. SIMs offer powerful log search features, the ability to trigger alerts using rules, and reports that organizations can provide to auditors to demonstrate compliance with various regulations. Oh, wait a minute. That's the old definition of a SIM. In 2017, the analyst firm Gartner updated their definition of a SIM. They added two new and important technologies, UEBA and SOAR. Two more acronyms for you to remember. UEBA stands for User and Entity Behavior Analytics. It's an analytics layer that tracks normal and abnormal behavior for users and entities, like databases, servers, and devices. It helps analysts spot abnormal behaviors like logins from an unusual location or machines uploading large amounts of information for the first time. Both are potential signs of a security issue. Basically, UEBA helps the analysts by highlighting anomalous activity that they should look into. SOAR stands for Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response. SOAR automates what security analysts need to do to respond to security incidents. Remember how the original SIM meant analysts didn't need to go to each individual security system to collect logs? Well, they would still need to if they wanted to respond to an incident. SOAR eliminates that. And let me give you an example. Let's say there's malware found on a laptop. An analyst would normally go to the endpoint security system, quarantine the computer, then maybe search for the source of the malware in an IDS or an IPS to make sure no one else is affected. With SOAR, the analyst can automate the quarantine action from the SIM. They don't need to log into the endpoint security system. And with a modern SIM that has UEBA, the system automatically discovers that the malware came from a phishing link in an email. So now, the analyst wants to block that link in other emails so no one else gets affected. This is where orchestration comes in. The SIM works with the endpoint security system, the email security system, and maybe even something like a ticketing system. Okay. So now you know what a modern SIM is and what it can do. SIMs can be used for a number of purposes. In fact, that's why they're often the foundational platform for the Security Operations Center, the SOC. You can still use your SIM to demonstrate compliance with regulations like SOCs, HIPAA, and GDPR. But a more advanced use would be zero-day detection, where unusual behavior would help detect something you've never seen before. Some companies use SIM for insider threat detection or threat hunting. This is a proactive search for unusual activities inside an organization. Lastly, with SOAR, a SIM can help to automate the SOC from detection through investigation and response. Many SOCs are looking to automate to make their operations more efficient and reduce their overall risk. I hope that was helpful. I've really just scratched the surface. If you want to learn more about SIMs, including architecture, use cases, and how to operationalize one in your SOC, check out Exabeam's Essential Guide to SIM. Feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments below and I'll answer. And if you like what you see, please like the video and subscribe to our channel.